So the fundamental theorem of calculus basically tells us that derivatives and integrals are inverses of each other. So how can we apply this to these two problems here? They look pretty much the same, but I mean, the derivative and integral symbols are flipped. So what's going to be the answer to both of these? Well, we can think of our first one as being, so the integral of a derivative of some function. Okay. Well, I mean, we could use the, we could just say, oh, it's just the fundamental theorem of calculus, but let's try to, let's try to understand this more. So if we, we can actually, we can notice there's a dx here and a dx here. We can kind of just cancel them out and we are left with the integral of df of x. And you can kind of put the f of x in parentheses. Now, um, if you set, let's say, let's, let's say we set y equal to f of x, this just becomes dy. Or you could put the one there, the one in front, just to, just to show that it's the integral of one dy. Well, I mean, that's just y. But plus c, remember plus c. That's just y plus c, right? Because if you're integrating one, it's just going to be whatever you have here. So you can replace this with f of x. So it's just going to be f of x plus c. And that's your answer. And it makes sense. The integral of a derivative is f of x plus c, the original function, but plus a constant just in case, you know. Um, so how can we use that to help us here? Well, uh, it's pretty much the same thing, it's just these two are flipped, um, but we can't really do what we did. We can't cancel out these dx's because this one's inside of the integral integration symbol while this one's outside. So how can we kind of cancel out any dx's and try to get it in a form like this? So we could just assume that uh, we set f of x to be equal to the derivative of some other function, okay? Let's say g prime of x, okay? So this, we can rewrite this in a new notation saying dg dx, so the derivative of our function g with respect to x. And this is actually pretty cool because it tells us that we're gonna have d dx of the integral of dg dx dg dx dx and we don't have to do a u substitution because we're still using the variable x we didn't we just kind of changed the function around so yeah and again we can cancel out these dx's and we're left with d dx of the integral of dg. I mean, it's just dg, that's all that's left. So I'm going to write that in red here. Okay, so dg is just, the integral of dg is just going to be g, which is g of x. So we have d dx of g. And I can write that up here. And dg dx is g prime of x, which is our original function. So we're left with f of x. No plus c because the derivative kind of gets rid of the plus c. So, you know, we and we could end up with the plus c here, but then the derivative is just going to get rid of it. So that is our answer.